Welcome, I'm AnonG, and today we'll be taking a look at Oblivion's leather armor, or rather, it's like the Roth. But what does that mean? Well, Oblivion has leather armor, right? Well, it does, but the leather armor you know isn't actually leather armor. If we take a look, we can see all the standard parts of leather armor here, from helmet to boots. You might have noticed it right away, but the leather shield doesn't fit in with the other pieces of the set. Let me fix that for you. Ignoring my lack of a face here, you can clearly see that this armor does match the leather shield. But what is this armor? Well, this is pit armor. It's an unfinished set of armor left in the game files and in one of the testing cells. I also call it unfinished because other than it being marked as light armor, it doesn't have any values assigned. The name pit armor in itself is kinda weird because it's not really clear what this armor would have been used for. Although it can be speculated that it would have been associated with the arena because of the name and because it kinda looks like gladiator armor. However, even if that was to be the case, the armor in itself was repurposed. Internally, the armor doesn't have any special name, just pit helmet, pit cuirass, etc. But if we look at its texture pad, then we can see that it actually refers to leather armor. Basically, Bethesda created a leather armor and then decided to repurpose it into this pit armor set before deciding to drop it altogether. Creating a whole armor set only to let it go unused is such a Bethesda thing to do. Oh, but if this is the leather armor, then what is the leather armor that we see in the final game? Well, its textures identify it as thief armor. That actually makes sense, as it does kinda look like some generic thief slash thieves guild armor. Of course, that kind of armor wouldn't need a shield, so that's why the shield mismatches. It also makes sense if you think about all the thieves in the Imperial City, for example. The majority of them carry this armor with them. If you think about it as thieves armor, then it makes a lot of sense. What doesn't really make a lot of sense is that some unique magic items, such as the boots of bloody bounding and the fists of the drunkard, still use the model for pit boots and pit gauntlets, respectively. A naive person may say that Bethesda wanted to at least reuse some of these models, but I'm leaning more towards the theory of Bethesda just forgetting to swap these models out with the correct leather ones. I mean, the Boots of Bloody Bounding are internally referred to as DB Leather Boots Reward, and the Fists of the Drunkard apparently weren't even supposed to be leather as they're internally known as Unique Iron Gauntlets Drunkard. And then finally we also have another part of the supposed leather set, the Singular Leather Bracer. And yes, that's a typo in game. These bracers don't really match either set, and their texture pad just refers to them as generic bracers, and their inventory icon doesn't even depict what they actually look like. Of course, that's because this icon is known as Daedric Bracers. I don't even know what to say about that one. And with that, we've basically come to an end. But I just want to remind everyone that this isn't a video of me just shitting on Oblivion again. Trust me. Those will come in the future, but I just want to point out all these interesting oddities that people just comb over. Morrowind has these, Skyrim has these, even the newer Fallout games and many more have these. So while it may not be as interesting as full blown pit content, I always love these little things like this and now I bid all of you farewell. And I'll see you all in the next episode.